think there's two. Setting the scene for this CQB position, my teammate has just died and I have two players, possibly three around me. I know my teammate has died from M80s and I know that these guys have been hunting us for a little bit, so they're well coordinated. If you learned something from this video, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I'll be doing more of these types of contents in the future. I'm going to let the clip play and I want you to try to pay attention to what you see and then we'll talk about it after. Yeah, yeah. You dead. Good so my biggest advantage during this fight was that they knew I was in the building but didn't know which room. I heard them circling me and I was able to position myself in a way that I could swing out and kill someone who came up the stairs to my left, which is what I did. And I just had to, to try to use desync as an advantage. Yeah, yeah. I was watching his flashlight and as soon as he swung left, I immediately pushed out and aimed head level. Turned my flashlight on to blind him and increase my hip fire accuracy. Full autoed him. And because I didn't know where the next person was, turned around, shut the door, and went back into my room. At this point, I would assume that the enemy teammate is calling out that I am either in his room or that I am running this kind of round or whatever. But one thing that I found interesting was that I saw a flashlight come up, and that's how I knew he was coming up the stairs to my right. If there was a third, they would have to push up and open the door again, thus giving me an audio cue. So my focus was on the person to my right. I saw a laser on the door, and he actually shot a warning shot, which I thought was a little bit interesting. And that gunshot also gave me audio so that I knew that he was rocking the M80s that we had originally thought, which we found out was an SR-25. So I knew that if he pushed up, I probably had a greater advantage because I'd be able to throw 7.62 BP or PS rounds down his throat. Dead. So for me, if I can draw shots out by running across the hallway, where he won't be able to hit me with his SR-25, get his round super low, I can maybe push him and have a little bit more of an advantage having a closer fight. What I decided to do though, because he held this angle on my left hand peak, I sprint across and try to use hard cover, Dead. shoot a couple rounds of him, hold an angle in case he decides to push through, which he was shooting, so I knew he wasn't gonna sprint through and try to push with an advantage. He assumed, because of how aggressive I was playing, that I would be able to just push right back in and probably get, he'd probably be able to hit me head eyes with a line of sight just by pre-firing. When I swung across and got super aggressive, I think what he thought I was going to do and what I kind of assumed he thought I was going to do was to swing directly back into his pre-fired shots around probably my head level. So what I did was I held a hard angle so that he wouldn't be able to shoot me through hard cover. And then whenever I go to peek the door, I use the soft cover so that he can't see my movement but I actually crouch while I peek, try to avoid the headshots because I assume that he's probably shooting there as a pre-fire. And with my crouch spray, I'm going to have a lot more of a controlled spray. So I hit him pretty quick in the head, but I continued to spray through just so that I knew that he was dead and I fully committed. The big thing with these two fights is that when you swing and you play aggressive with CQB, you have to fully commit to your spray. You can't just do one shot and then push back you are going to have some desync battles. You have to assume where they are, try to pre-fire, put some shots down, whether you're tapping or fully auto, but aim thorax, head level, something. Know that after your first shot, your next shot if you're full auto is kicking up super high. So try to control that spray. Hopefully this video helped. Subscribe if you are new here, hit that like button if you are enjoying the content. And if you would like to catch me live, I'm streaming both on Twitch and on Kick. Down below, you can go ahead and find me there. Hit me with a follow and hopefully I will see you in the future.